YouTube, this is Aisha, and this is my 2017 goals. And I will be talking about some of the reading challenges I'll be participating in and the ones that I've created for myself this year. So one of the things I'll be doing is reading my bookshelves as exclusively as possible. I really need to get these, a good majority of these read, particularly before VEA. So the goal will be to read as many of the books on my shelves as possible. Um, only purchasing the 17 books that are on my 2017 most anticipated books list. Really, really trying to stick to that. And only rewarding myself with new books on my birthday, which I did in 2016, which was really awesome. I managed to stick to that challenge. Um, so the goal is to read as many of the books on my shelves as possible. So there's several different challenges I'll be participating in. There's a Laura Lee challenge, there's an erotica challenge, there's a reading my shelves challenge. There is um, the perpetual challenge of reading Christine Feehan and Heather Graham and um, and J.D. Robb. I'll also be doing a Nora Roberts challenge, reading these two, plus those two, plus... <laughs> I have three and a half shelves dedicated to Nora Roberts. My goal is to read as many of the books on my shelves as possible. Some are parts of series and I know I'm missing the first book or the fourth book. My goal is not to borrow those from the library until I've read as many of the books as possible from a series. Um, I own a lot of authors that I've never read, so they're going to be new to me author challenges like um, Sarah Dessen. I've never read her work, but I own like seven or eight of the books. Um, and I'm just trying to just clear the shelves as much as possible. The goal would be to be, and I'm participating in New Adult Channel, New Adult Challenge, which means these three bookshelves will get read right here. Those are my new adult books. Um, pretty much this entire bookcase right here, which is seven, seven shelves deep and seven shelves with two stacks deep um the goal is to read that that's mostly new adult um so yeah there are quite a few challenges i'm participating in and ways to motivate myself i have monthly challenge prompts which i'll be participating in so it's like read a new adult book read a book that's on your shelf for more than three years um read a series begin and end the series read an ebook um, my goal this year is I read a lot of ebooks in 2015 and 2016. My goal this year is to read as many of the physical books as possible. I own a ton of ebooks and they will never go anywhere because way too many. I, I have quite a few unread books and I'm not happy with that. I want more read books. Um, my numbers have flipped. Um, about three years ago when I did it, I had, um, I had counted my bookshelves and I had something like 16 or 1700 books. Um, not counting reference books, it dropped it down to like 12 or 13. And counting unread books was like 637. That's exploded exponentially. You know, way more books unread than read at the current moment. So the goal is to flip that over and read way more books, have more books read, not just in ebook form, but in physical form. Um, you know, as you can see, J.D. Robbs right here. I'm seven books behind in the series. I own four of them, so I should probably read those four. I know I love the author. I know I love writing. I know I love the series. I should just catch up. Um, I have more adult books here and here. Um, it's just a matter of making reading a priority this year. So, you know, those are the goals to motivate myself. I'm reading, I'm taking challenges, I'm giving myself rewards, um, non-book rewards, as well as a few book rewards. Um, I've allowed myself to order 17 books. I know seven specifically that I've already pre-ordered <laughs> or Seven that I've already pre-ordered, one that I'm going to pre-order the minute the link pops up, which is Brave by Tamara Weber. I can't wait to read that one. Um, but until then, I have, you know, 
quite a few to, to occupy my time, as you can see. If there's any books that you can see on my shelves, or any books that you saw in any of my challenge videos, or any books that you see on the blog post that you think I should read first, definitely let me know. Another author that I forgot to mention that I own a lot of books of and I need to read is Julie Carroll. I have a ton of her books. Oh, and I forgot to mention that my goal this year, one of my major goals this year, is to read the entire Brenda Jackson catalog. I've read quite a few of her anthology. I read quite a few of the West Roman books, but I want to one own them, own them all. Two, I've <laughs> read them all in order. So I've read the West Roman series out of order, and my goal is to buy the books that are possible to be bought and read them in order. And just fall in love with the West Romans again. And yeah, that's my goal for 2017. Let me know um, if you have any similar goals or are you one of those that are slowing down? Are you pushing to have zero by 2020? I'll have zero by never because perpetual order. I'm always going to be buying books. Just perpetual book purchase. Yeah, I will always be buying books. So there will always be more books. <laughs> I could probably clear the shelf of books by reading them. And there will always be more books because there's always new books coming out. So let me know in the comments down below what your goals for 2016, 2017 are. And if you meet your goals for 2016, I certainly plan to. 2016 terrible reading. Terrible reading year. <laughs> Worst reading year on record for me since 1999. Like, worst reading year. Other than, other than 2001, which was in a novel. And we know why, 2001. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> That's it. Those are my goals. Share it in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.